What's herby, floral, and literally tastes like pineapple? Pineapple weed. This is such a common plant, easy to identify. It's invasive, harvest as much as you want. Fantastic flavor. It's almost impossible to use too much in a dish. Such a good plant. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out to my friend's driveway, right in her front yard. I'm gonna harvest some with the scissors. This part is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the most important part is going to come in just a second when we bring the plants home. Cutting stresses the plants. So when I bring them home, and this is like any other plant that I harvest, you can see there's a sink full of sow thistle and uh, Canada lettuce next to it. The plants are stressed, so we're going to put them into water. This is just this is analogous to putting flowers in a vase. So after we let them sit in some cold water, we'll let them rest for like 15 minutes and then I'm going to take them out and wrap them in a towel. You can spin them in a salad spin or two, wrap them up in a towel, put that towel into a plastic bag. You want to use a plastic bag because it won't dry them out and then look at what happens. You saw how wilted they were before? Look, now they're fresh and perky and they're alive again. Not only will this improve the texture of your greens, of basically any green you pick, this also doubles to triple the shelf life. Very, very useful. Now I'm gonna show you how to make just a really simple salad with, with this plant. This is the first way that I served this in my first restaurant. The whole plant is edible. The stems are a little bit tough, so we're not going to use those. Just the tender young leaves, and most importantly, the, um, the yellow flowers. These are really young. You can get some with absolutely huge flower buds on them. The more flower buds you use, the more flavor and more pops of pineapple aroma you're going to get as you eat. And these can get very large. Just put the whole thing the whole flower buds go into the salad and it's like it's like a salad that turns into an adventure with these like explosions of flavor and this is a 100% wild salad sans the olive oil I'm just gonna use a couple plants from my yard there's some lamb's quarter uh, cluches or meristems just the tender tips I'll add the whole things just those whole things to the salad along with some wood sorrel I have some chickweed and then a really fun little plant called pellitory that you can also find around a lot of houses, has a taste kind of like cucumber. I'll add my whole clusters of lamb's quarters. There's some auric shoots from my garden that volunteered from last year. And then as a special bonus, I found some smilax shoots, also known as carrion flower, or radioactive asparagus, probably my favorite name I've come up with for it. This is a plant that you can eat raw, and you could use some asparagus. I'm just adding this because I had it, just to give it a little texture. This is a choose your own adventure sort of thing. Use whatever you have, use whatever you like. The most important part is how it's seasoned. And we will get to that in just a second. So I'll take my carrion flower shoots and just add those. Then I'm gonna add the pineapple weed. I'm actually gonna add about double that because I wanted a little more flavor. It's hard to add too much. It's not offensive, it doesn't get bitter. So easy to use. I'll add some fresh cracked black walnuts just for a little more texture and some extra, you know, I like big flavors here. We'll add a little bit of oil and you can see we're not using a bottled dressing. If you use bottled dressing, unsubscribe from this channel, okay? You might as well throw your greens in the compost. Yes, I'm opinionated about this. You'll taste the salad season like this and you will understand why. The most important part was that that vinegar, which was made from milkweed flowers, was seasoned heavily with sugar. Most of my vinegars are seasoned with sugar because wild greens need some sweetness. It could be maple syrup. You could use balsamic vinegar. A little bit of lemon juice helps bring everything together. A little bit of extra oil, just keep seasoning it and tasting slowly until it tastes just perfect to you. That is, this is like the best salad you'll have, is one that you make yourself with just oil and vinegar used separately. Add some fresh flowers, Dame's Rocket, Black Locust, and isn't that beautiful? This is one of the best wild plants for tea. It's related to chamomile, so it's gonna taste just like chamomile. Just put some in a glass, pour hot water over it. You can dry the plants too. They're not as pretty, but the flavor is stronger. So you can use that for a lot of things too. This week, I just made a whole bunch of syrup out of dried plants. And for my event this weekend, we're making 
pineapple weed lemonade is so good icy cold i'll use the fresh plants syrup from the dried plants together some fresh lemon juice just a fantastic way to have a nice cool drink in the summer and a great uh, great way an example of how i use fresh and dried plants together and just how to use the plant in general i hope you learned a little bit about pineapple weed and what you can do with it Thanks for watching.